Assalamualaikum class. So today the topic which we are doing in maths is subtraction. Okay, so let's start our first sum. Okay, so over here question number one, we have two columns, the tens column and the ones column. Okay, so I will start from the ones column, right? So over here I have seven and three. Now how will I subtract it? Now you can see that you have 3. Now 3 is the smaller number. So now I will start counting ahead from my smaller number and I will count till my bigger number. That way I will get, I will know what is the difference between these two numbers. Now after 3 comes 4, 5, 6, 7. So I started counting from the smaller number which is 3. And I counted till the bigger number which is 7. And can you see how many fingers are open? 4 fingers. That means when I subtract 7, I subtract 3 from 7, 4, four is left. So my answer for the 10th month's column is 4. Okay. Similarly, I will solve my 1's column. Now over here you can see I have 4 and I also have 4 over here. So from 4, if I am going to subtract 4, what is left? Hmm, nothing. So that means I can write 0 over here or I can write nothing over here because 0 means nothing. Okay, so now let's move to the next sum. Now let's do question number 2. Now in question number 2 again I will start from the 1's column. Now over here, can you see that I have 2 above and I have 8 below? Oh, oh, that means 2 is a smaller number. So how am I going to subtract 8 from 2? So now don't worry. What we are going to do in subtraction, we will borrow 1 from the 7, 1 from the 10th column. So when I'm going to borrow, when I'm going to borrow 1, so for example, this is my 7. If I'm going to borrow 1 from 7, so that means only 6 is left over here. And I have borrowed 1 over here. So can you see I borrowed 1 from the 10th column and over here. I borrowed 1 from the 10th column. So that means 1 from the 10th column is equal to 10 ones. So this 1 is equal to 10. So now I have 2 over here. So this means 10 plus 2, this is 12. Okay, I borrowed 1 from the 10th column. So this is 1 tenths. Okay, so this makes it 12. So now from 12, I have to subtract 8. So again, we will use the trick which we used in the previous sum. We will start counting from the smaller number till the bigger number. Right. So let's start counting. After 8 comes 9, 10, 11 and 12 so i will stop at the big number so i started from 8 and i counted till 12 so that means when i'm going to subtract 8 from 12 4 and 4 is remaining so i will write my remaining answer over here that is 4 okay now let's again solve the tens column I have, I, I had 7 but I had borrowed 1 from the 7 so I am left with 6 now. So from 6 I have to minus 2. So again I will start, I see I have the smaller number is 2. So we will start counting from the smaller number till the bigger number. So let's start counting. After 2 comes 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh wow, again we, we are getting a 4. So, that means the answer we are getting is 44. Okay class, so we have done question 1 and 2. Now question number 3 and question number 4 is going to be your homework. Okay class, now let's move to our next sum. Now we are going to do a story sum. Okay, let's read the sum. Mr. Raza had... 88 packets of sweets in his shop. He sold 53 packets. How many packets had he left? Okay, so this is a story sum. So remember what I told you before? That the first thing is you have to understand the story. 
so in this story the story is that mr raza he had 88 packets of sweets okay and from those 88 packets he sold how many packets 53 packets and now the, what is the question in the story the question is that after selling 53 packets how many packets is he left with hmm so what did i tell you first you will understand the question and then second thing is you will write the statements so let's see the first part of the story mr raza raza had 88 packets so that means this is a first statement mr raza had 80 i will write 88 packets of sweets okay let's go back to the question next question is he sold so next part is he sold 53 packets so that will be our statement number 2 he sold how many packets 53 packets right he sold 53 packets hmm and again the question is how many packets had he left so now from 88 packets he sold 53 packets so now what we are going to do we want to find out that how many are left so we are going to subtract yes you are right so first i am writing the last and final statement which is going to be mr raza had dash packets left now let's find out how many packets so i am going to subtract 53 from 88 i will write my subtraction sign okay now let's start solving it now i have 8 over here i will start from my ones column i have 8 over here and 3 so let's start counting from the smaller number 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 So I started from the smaller number three and I counted till eight. And how many? Uh, how much is remaining? Five. So I'm going to write five over here. Now let's move to our tens column. I have eight above and I have five below. So five is the smaller number. So let's start counting. After five comes six, seven, eight, and we have eight above. So that means three. So that means three is left. So our answer is he had left thirty-five. He had thirty-five packets left. So that means Mr. Raza he had eighty-eight packets. He sold fifty-three, and then he was only left with thirty-five packets. Okay, class. Class. So we have done the first story sum. Now the second one is your homework. Okay, so let's read. A milkman carried ninety-six bottles of milk. The milkman delivered seventy-two bottles. How many bottles were left? So remember the first thing. You will understand the question. Then you will write the statements, and then you are going to solve it. Okay, class. So inshallah, I will see you in the next session. Take care, Allah Hafiz.